What's up guys, it's me Lego Paradise here and today I'm going to show you my Lego Space Pirate Ship. It's been a long time since I last built a big Lego spaceship, so this time I wanted to mix it up a bit by building a spaceship for the bad guys, the Space Pirates in this case. I got the idea for the shape of the ship by combining two Lego Star Wars Geonosian Starfighters to create this angular design that you see all the way throughout all of the surfaces of the Space Pirate Ship. So we'll take a look at this space pirate ship in sections and for that we'll start off by taking a look at the front of the ship. If we take a look around the side you can see that the side of the front is this really narrow wedge shape and this part actually reminds me of the front of a World War I tank because of the angle of the incline. But that's just an unintentional feature but I think that's a pretty cool design and it really adds to the menacing feel of the space pirate ship. And then if we go around directly to the front, here you see there's a whole array of cannons, because every respectable space pirate ship needs a whole host of deadly weapons to deal with any unwanted civilians. And then above those cannons, I've included a large air intake, and this is actually built into some armor plating and you can see there's lots of different types of armor plating and hull armor I've attached onto the top to protect all of the important circuitry and electrical components that you see in this grey area up the top. And you can see these really cool circuit board pattern printed pieces. And there are actually some 1x4 tiles I've included all the way along the top, just all in different directions and different combinations to create a really complex and interesting pattern. And you can see I've also added lots of other smaller bits of plating and components just to give the feel that this space pirate ship has been heavily modified since it was stolen from its original owners and has been repaired at several last minute situations and that it's just a well used and well worn space pirate ship unlike a well kept military or civilian ship. And then if we continue along the ship, we get to this area and you can see this is where there's the most space in the interior. And of course I'll get to the interior in a bit. But you can see I've included a massive dish piece and this is actually the same on both sides. The ship is almost identical except for a few bits on the back, but I'll get to those in a bit. And you can see this massive dish acts as a massive bit of sturdy armor plating for the side. And then you have some more armor plating up the top. And you might have also noticed this alien pirate in a gun turret. And he's just in charge of these two small blasters that swivel around and can be angled to fight off any smaller or faster ships that the space pirate ship might not be able to reach with its forward cannons. And this small gun turret has a glass canopy that you can angle upwards to reveal the space pirate alien inside. And you can see I've chosen an alien with some pretty good eyes because you need good eyesight if you're going to be controlling uh, fast small spinning guns. And then if we continue further along you can see that again the spaceship angles inwards towards this bit and it gets thinner in the middle of the ship. And you can see this is where there's just some more armor plating and another cool little air intake there. And this builds up to the main cockpit of the ship, which is piloted by another alien inside. But we'll get to that in a bit, because for now you can see this is where the door to the spaceship is. And I've tried to include a large door that can be opened really easily so the space pirates can quickly board enemy ships and take them over. But I'll show you how the door opens once we take a look at the interior. And then you can see around the other side of the ship, this is one of the only non-symmetrical parts of the sides of the ship, and I've just included a small window. But you'll be able to get a better look of that once we take a look at the interior of the ship. And then if we take a look around the top, if we just spin the ship round, here you can see this is where the pilot of the ship is. And he's nice and safe in a really streamlined cockpit. And you can see that this also flips up so you can access the pilot seat. 
and you might be able to see some controls there and a small gauge that shows you the speed or the air pressure or some sort of diagnostics about the ship and there's just some controls near the pilot's hands and you can just close that and that fits nicely so we're almost done looking at the outside of the ship you can see there's just two engines around the back and this is quite an interesting design you can see I've made them using some angled roof brick pieces and these just create a really nice design that I think fit really perfectly with the rest of the space pirate ship so that concludes that exterior and now we can take a look at the inside the interior of the spaceship can be accessed quite easily by simply removing this large roof section from the ship and you can see I've designed this to be nice and flat to be easily removable and here's just another look at the top since it's a whole lot easier to see all of the details on the top of the spaceship but anyway you can put this roof section aside and this allows you to see all of the rooms inside of the space pirate ship and we'll see the rooms in order of course but first I'll show you this door which acts as the main airlock to access the ship and you can see that opens out nicely using a hinge mechanism and it can be a bit tricky to do while holding the ship in the air but you can see that opens out fairly widely and allows access inside the ship and outside of space where you can board other people's ships but if we close that up you can see around the entrance this is where the space pirate captain is hanging out and if we just take him out we can have a look at the space pirate captain and you can see this is just a cool little minifigure I thought would look really cool on the space pirate ship and I've just made them up using a peg leg because every pirate captain has only one leg and instead of a hook for a hand I've used this really cool robot hand piece which just adds to the sci-fi feel and theme of the space pirate ship so the captain is just standing there just looking out of the window which is behind him and you can get a bit better view of the outside of space that way and then if we continue along this corridor you can see there's not that much in the actual corridor itself but we should get to a door and this can open up to reveal the main captain's cabin because of course the captain owns the ship and he gets his own room and then you can see in the corner there's a small pile of gold and that's not actually being that shiny at the moment but these tiles are actually painted in a metallic gold color which is quite cool and you can see next to the gold tiles there's a bed for the captain and a monkey or a space monkey because of course I wanted to combine the two themes of pirates and spaceships and then if we continue along the corridor you can see another crew member just hanging out there near a computer console and if we just take a look at this space pirate alien you can see he's only got one eye and he's also got some dreadlocks and I thought this is just a pretty cool figure and would fit perfectly in the space pirate crew and we get to another room which is locked by another door but these are pretty loose and they can swing open but that's okay because you can see here is a small control section where there's maybe some communication controls to broadcast any messages to any of their captured ships and there's a small kitchen area just to prepare some food and you might even be able to see a small bottle of rum just in the corner there and there's just some kitchen utensils hanging up on the walls and if we just flip the ship around you can have a better look at this small computer console located in the corner there and there's not actually that much underneath this section so that's why I made it so you can't actually see inside but you can just imagine the rest of the cannons that extend all the way along inside this front section and besides since it's angled 
on the bottom, it's a bit tricky to walk there anyway. So that was the inside of my LEGO Space Pirate ship. And you can see the roof just fits on really easily, just like that. So that was my LEGO Space Pirate ship. And if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give the video a like, comment and subscribe for more. And I'll be back next time with some more LEGO creations. Thanks for watching.